the iMotion unboxing. Here's the manual. You can hear Tiffany washing dishes in the background. And that's your soundtrack for this video. Uh, looks like we have the uh, charger here for the scooter. I'll go ahead and I'll remove this foam insert that snugly fit in the box. What's this? Oh, looks like uh, we have the ankle pads that have some adhesive on the back. You can place them uh, anywhere you want. That way it's a lot more custom. Here's the power cord. Here it is. Okay, not too heavy actually. Here's some plastic on here. This will protect from scratches during shipping. Yeah, it's really not that heavy. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful looking finish. All the kids at school are gonna love this. Maybe the kids will stop picking on me now. I'm just gonna put my foot in there. Tire seems pretty squishy. Nice. It's real put together. I like it. It's got all these funky lights on it. You can customize these patterns and design your own and upload them from the app. I think R2-D2 just came in. <laughs> okay, that's a little much. <laughs> and there's this QR code on the side of the box. I used this to download it, but it turns out you can just pick it up in the Play Store. Um, I worry about downloading this. You had to update your phone to allow unknown sources, so it's probably, eh, just get it from the Play Store. Well, that looks shady as fuck. The on and off buttons are some cheesy ripped off audio tunes. And it's kind of a fun one poking at Microsoft Windows. It's the USB plugged in sound. But thankfully you can change this in the app too. Would be funny to use some sort of fart theme sound. <coughs> so there shows the mileage, average speed, temp, Ooh, sound customization. Uh, diagnostics. Oh, cool, dude. Diagnose. Sound customization. Cool, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. They actually sell. They sell sounds. Show the pads. The direction show. Someone. Riding this barefoot. <clears throat> oh, cool, man. I just uploaded uh, a new, uh, new pattern for the lights. The yeah. So there's like a whole, it's like a Facebook integration almost. An in-motion coach. You can put, a lot of people put foam around them in case you drop them, you don't scratch it. And you can design your own lighting, um, whatever, patterns, and uh, then you click a button and you can upload it, and it'll upload uh, through Bluetooth to the little scooter. So I just upload that. Whoa. Oh cool, now it's doing all sorts of colors. Now it's really flashy, dude. Like, too flashy. Oh yeah, you can actually, like, DIY your own. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Oh, neat. Oh my gosh, you can, like, do all these custom things. Look at that, dude. I made a custom one. It's a weird one. <laughs> Alright, let's go out for my first attempt at riding an electric unicycle. I'm pumped. Let's do this. And yeah, I'm doing this with a full face helmet. Uh, reason being, a number of years ago, I got into a really bad mountain bike accident. I just had one of those regular bicycle helmets. If I had a full face, it would, I would have been uh, a lot better off. So I'm not taking any chances. Um, so I know I'm gonna fall down. It's got a really steep learning curve to ride one of these electric scooters. I know I've heard that it takes about a month or two practicing 20 minutes a day but it's like almost a life-changing thing once you learn how to ride one. So let me go ahead and try this. I just can't believe I bought this. I can't either. It's a lot more expensive than the Segway version on Amazon, but this one is better in so many ways. Uh, shipping took about a week, but I, I think it will be worth it in the long run. Uh, and I recommend you get this through eWheels. They ship from California, and it shouldn't take more than about five days to get yours in any part of the country. As far as international orders, uh, you can check out their website. This model doesn't have a removable battery that you can easily remove on the go, but it does have a number of little screws that can be removed to access it, so it is possible to remove the battery if you need to go on a flight. But it's not simple. 
If after a few years you need to replace the battery, they run for about 350 bucks, and you can buy those from eWheels. I'm glad I got mine through eWheels because it comes with a one year warranty, and that includes the battery pack. It seems like they have a bunch of these spares on hand, so you don't have to wait for a shipment from China. So check out the link uh, on how to order one, and I think there's a discount um, on checkout. And I think that's going to be it for me. Uh, it really tires you out at first. I could only do 10 minutes, and then my feet were really sore. And this thing is pretty fast. Uh, you can cruise right along comfortably at about 18 miles per hour. You can realistically expect to get about 25 miles per hour on this bad boy. Uh, it's also got a really nice uh, carry handle with it too. So that's my unboxing initial impression and first ride on the InMotion V8 electric unicycle. If you guys liked it, my video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that, yada yada. Uh, if you want to be my buddy, get one of these unicycles. These are awesome. And um, you know, tell me in the chat how you're digging it. Um, and uh, I'll, maybe I'll make some more videos like this. And uh, definitely um, use that link down below and check it out on their website. If, uh, if you don't do anything else, do that. All right, take care, guys.